Okay, we're taking a look at some of the different compasses that we use in our gear bags. Uh, going around here, we've got a regular army compass. Uh, this one is a cheap compass that's meant to go on your watch band. Another one that's just a little bit better that's meant to go on your watch band. A third one that's meant to go on your watch band. I'm going to throw that in the cheap category also. These were some cheap ones we got from Hong Kong. Uh, they were two bucks for a whole bag of them. And we thought maybe if they work well, they might be good to just dab onto some other equipment with a piece of, with a dab of glue. Uh, this was a, a $2 compass from this, at the same order, someplace in Hong Kong. Uh, I thought I'd buy it. It seems pretty well made. I don't know if it's worth 2 bucks though. This little compass is actually small and looks cheap, but it's really not. It comes with the Adventure Medical Kits uh, SOL bag, uh, which is a survival kit they came out with a couple years ago. It's actually a pretty decent compass, and it does its job. It's liquid-filled, and uh, you know, it goes right to north, where some of these others that look about the same just don't do the job. We have a couple here that are on whistles that... Uh, basically sold as survival whistles. They've got the compass on this side and a thermometer on this side. They're P whistles so they weren't really, you know, they're not modern. Most of the new whistles don't have the P in there but they do work a little bit. You really have to hold them. The last one we've got here is a Rhino. Uh, this is a GPS radio uh, but it does have a compass in it. This particular model, the 120, has a regular compass so if I wanted to uh, move the dial, it seems to work really decently for us. Um, last is, of course, just a novelty type of thing, the uh, compass and the handle of the, the Jeep uh, survival knife. Um, again, it's not the best compass out there, but in a pinch it might work for you. It does point north, it is liquid filled. Uh, that can be an issue in cold weather, of course, but not too bad. Um, again, you know, for what it is, for something that you just want to have with around the truck, it works. Uh, but going through, of course, the Army compasses work great. Uh, they're really lined up for, for calling in mortar attacks and things, so um, real heavy duty, a little bit more than some people want to carry, but good size comparison and good comparison because now we know that's where True North is.